behind and Ascari a second behind him. Following the exciting race at Reims, the British Grand Prix was eagerly awaited. Ascari took the lead at the start, followed by Fangio and Gonzalez, with Hawthorne next up. On lap three, Hawthorne had a terrifying spin in front of the pits at Woodcut. After an inspection stop at the pits to cure a small fuel leak, he continued. Ascari gradually pulled away to win from Fangio, Farina, Gonzalez, and Hawthorne, who'd fought his way back up, finished fifth. The Maserati team's challenge for the German Grand Prix at the Nürburgring was weakened by Gonzalez having been injured the previous weekend in a sports car race in Lisbon. Ascari lapped in 9 minutes 59.8, the only driver to break the 10-minute mark. Although Fangio went into the lead from the start, Ascari soon passed him and quickly pulled away. Fangio and Hawthorne had another close battle, passing and repassing. Suddenly, Ascari, leading by 40 seconds, had a wheel come off at the Tiergarten. He recovered brilliantly to limp round to the pits on three wheels and a brake drum. He lost four minutes in the resultant pit stop. This left Hawthorne in the lead from Fangio and Farina. Farina, inspired by Ascari's problems, closed right up to the pair in front and passed them both to take the lead. Shortly afterwards, Fangio regained his second place from Hawthorne, while Ascari was trying to regain lost ground. He moved up to seventh before having to pit again. On lap 10, he took over his mentor Luigi Villarese's Ferrari to launch a determined attack on the leading trio. His next three laps were the fastest of the race. But then on lap 15, an ominous cloud of smoke appeared, and he had to slow down and finish with a very sick engine. Farina, driving superbly, went on to win by over a minute from Fangio, with Hawthorne a distant third, and Benetez Maserati fourth. Ascari went on to win the Swiss Grand Prix from Farina, and Hawthorne with Fangio in fourth place sharing Benetez's car. Monza, the home of the Italian Grand Prix, prepared itself for a great race. Ascari led away from the start, and a very close battle ensued between Villaresi, Farina, Fangio, and Maramont. On the final corner of the race, Ascari spun, causing chaos. Farina drove onto the grass to avoid him, was struck by Marimont, and only Fangio benefited, as he nipped over on the inside to snatch victory. Just over a second from Farina in second place was the gap, and a very surprised that Aresi was third, with Hawthorne fourth. Ascari retained his world title for the second year, winning by 34 and a half points to Fangio's 28 points. Farina was third with 26 points and Mike Hawthorne a very creditable fourth with 19.